Well, hey folks, welcome back. I did a video just a little while ago. It was uh, kind of in response to another one that I'd seen a lot of. And I thought it was nothing more than bragging about his credentials and showing off what he could do with a horse. And he talked about uh, what level of instructor he was and showed what he could do. and But didn't explain uh, why he did it or uh, how he did it or how long it took or any, anything like that. There was no explanation, so I didn't think it was very valuable. And uh, I kind of did a response to that one and uh, showed you uh, a bunch of liberty work that I did with this particular horse. And uh, I realized after I'd done that one, I'd forgotten a bunch of stuff. And so I thought maybe, uh, at first I thought, well, it doesn't really matter. But then I thought, it, there's enough stuff there that's fairly important that I could do an entire video on. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to explain my credentials, uh, why I did it, and how I did it. Well, a little bit of how I... Let's start with my credentials here. Um, I, I've got everything written down on a piece of paper here. That uh, it, absolutely everything, every certificate, document, uh, diploma, whatever that I have uh, relevant to horses, it's all written down right here. No, there's nothing wrong with your eyes or your screen. That is, in fact, a blank piece of paper because that's it. That's all you need. Well, I suppose I could have put horses on there. That's the only thing that's really important. Stick that back in my pocket because we don't need that. See, and I want to talk a little bit about that is, you know, when it comes to things like, you know, diploma certificates and, and, this, and such. Um, in any trade, uh, they really don't mean that somebody knows what they're doing. It means that they've learned the answers to a test is really all that it matters. And, and when it comes to things like horses, uh, there's no certifications. There's no, there's no true standards. There's a number of schools and stuff you can get uh, certificates and documents and, and diplomas from and that. But... Uh, really there's no standard and it really doesn't mean a whole lot because uh, I could start my own school hand out a certificate saying that uh, you're now a qualified horse trainer and in fact you don't know a darn thing uh, you don't know what my standards are for the test or you know, if I even have one so uh, piece of paper does not mean somebody knows anything uh, don't rely on that alone uh, nothing wrong with a piece of paper or you know something saying somebody took the time to go get an education in something uh, but don't rely on that as a you know, assurance that they actually know something. Now, okay, that's my credentials, and that's all the credentials that you need to work with a horse is nothing, just a passion for horses, and oh, well, helps if you got a horse. Um, now that covers the credentials. Uh, onto the why. Uh, why did I bother to teach this horse all the liberty stuff that I did? Well, uh, I do liberty work with both my horses, but for very different reasons. And this particular one, I'll tell you why I did it with her, is uh, she has quite a bit of no to her, and particularly under saddle, and that is problematic. You don't want a horse that says no under saddle. That, that could be dangerous, actually. And, uh, but on lead, uh, she's like two different horses, and you put the lead on, it's like, you know, she's just an absolute doll. You couldn't ask for a better horse. Now, there's an old saying, you can't fix something if it isn't broke. So in order to break it, so to speak, uh, and allow her to actually make mistakes. Uh, that's why we started working off lead. We took the lead off, started working with her at Liberty uh, so that she could say no. And believe me, that uh, exactly what happened. Uh, we got all kinds of no, we got temper tantrums, we got all kinds of neat stuff and it was great because it gave us an opportunity to work on these things. And like I said, yeah, if it ain't broke, you can't fix it. So that was why we did it with this horse. And of course, it just kind of evolved from there. We found more and more things to do and it was a lot of fun and uh, it was quite functional it was uh, there, there's a saying never do anything with your horse that doesn't serve a purpose and it did every one of those things that you see me doing in those videos at liberty with her all serves a purpose it was all part of you know it's not a typical part of my training process that i would use with a horse but for this particular horse with the issues that she had um it was it was essential we actually had to do it it was uh, it was the way to approach things, at least I thought so, and it, it, it's been working. Uh, we're not done with her yet, though, by the way. Uh, we're still working on her, but uh, we've made some pretty good progress. So uh, that is why I did it. Now, I want to talk a bit about the, the how. Now, I'm not going to go into great, great detail because that would take hours and hours of video to do. But uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, just some basic uh, how it connects to uh, good halter training and groundwork. 
because if you're doing good groundwork and good halter training, and what you're going to see here is a finished product, it's not the beginning, although depending on the horse that can go pretty quick, um, but it's more of a finished product here, because what happens is, when I lift my hand up, and I hold the lead out, uh, this is a suggestion for the horse to move. Now you notice there's still slack in the lead, uh, my hand is pointing basically, and that's what, uh, where we go with uh, the Liberty work is it, it's basically just an extension of good groundwork because um, if I want her to move uh, I just take my hand and I point the direction I want her to go and she takes that as a cue just the same as I lift my arm up and I'm basically pointing with my hand the direction I want her to go okay I just lift my arm as she thinks I want her to go that's how easy it is okay and uh, you know if you da do your groundwork properly and uh, halt to train the horse properly the liberty work is just an extension of it and uh, that's really how simple it is it's not a complicated process uh, it's not something that uh, requires you know tricks and secrets and all kinds of stuff like that uh, you know it it's just an extension of good groundwork so if you do good groundwork uh, and halt to train your horse properly um, Liberty work from there is really a piece of cake. Uh, you know, there's a little more to it than what I just showed you, uh, but that gives you the general idea of how the two are connected. It's really going to Liberty work from a halter training is not a huge step. Uh, in her case, like I said, you know, uh, she knows what it means when my arm goes up in a certain direction. That's where she's supposed to be moving to. And so from there, we just kind of evolved it a little bit and refined it a bit to she goes a little more specifically where I point. And that's all there is to it. So it really is that simple. So don't get so friggin' amazed when you see somebody doing liberty work with a horse. It's really not that big a deal. If they're properly training the horse in the first place and they do the groundwork and properly halter train it, uh, liberty work's just a, a small extension from that. It's not that far to go, and you can do it too. And that was the whole point of my previous one is uh, don't be amazed by other people because you can do it too. And uh, if I hadn't have seen other people doing stuff like this, I never would have done it myself either. There you go. Have a good day, folks.